So you got some trailer light problems. Could it actually be the fixture? Hey there outdoor YouTubers, it's Dave Knetter from Knetter's Practical Outdoors. This video is on how to check your light fixture on your trailer, okay? This is part 9 of a multi-part series of videos on fixing and maintaining trailer lights, okay? If you go to my channel, Knetter's Practical Outdoors, there's a trailer light playlist, and there you can find all sorts of videos on fixing and maintaining trailer lights. But for this video, part 9, we're just going to uh, go over a quick, simple way to check and see if your light fixture itself is the problem. But let's just say we've got some trailer light problems. You know, we check the fuses. Um, if we had the old incandescent fixtures, we've changed bulbs. Uh, we've kind of cleaned up the plug, and, and it, we're just not really sure what's going on. We're kind of wondering, is our fixture actually messed up? You know, if you actually have the LED fixtures, sometimes it's not that easy to tell, right? Well, here's a quick little check that you can do. Okay, you can do it uh, right out on the trailer itself. All right, get yourself a 12 volt battery. All right, couple jumper wires. Okay, and the negative of the battery will actually go to the white wire. Okay, I know that's kind of weird, but that's just uh, that's just the color codes they use. White wire, negative ground for trailer lights goes to the black on the battery. Okay. So now we've got this brown and this green, okay? We take the positive of the battery and we'll attach it to the brown and there we go. Got our lights to light up, okay? We'll attach it to the green and we've also got our lights to light up, okay? The brown is our running lights. The green would be the brake or if it was blinking back and forth, it's the blinker. Okay, all right, so this fixture works, okay? now. What if you had a fixture like this one, okay? There is no white wire. So what are we supposed to do with this negative, all right? Well, if there is no white wire, the negative or the ground or the return is actually these studs. When you bolt it to the frame of your trailer, that's the electrical connection to the frame of your trailer, and the frame of your trailer is used for the return path back to complete the circuit. So you take your jumper wire negative off of our battery, and we put it right on that stud, okay? And we've got our green and our brown. Here's our brown, our running lights. They come on, okay? And our green, that's our brake, or if it toggles, our blinker. And that's working too, okay? So both these fixtures work, all right? And same thing with these side marker lights, okay? Now this side marker light does have a white wire, okay? So what you would do, negative, of your battery, attach it to the white, positive, would go to the black, I know it's a little confusing, I don't know why they did it that way, but they did, and voila, this side marker light works too, okay? So what you can do, if you suspect you have faulty fixtures, go to each fixture, now you will have to unwire it, okay, to, to get these jumpers on there to some degree, you may have to unwire it, okay? But it's a good way to check the fixtures right in place, right on the trailer, see if they're working. Okay, all right, guys. Hey, hope this helps out. Remember to hunt, fish, laugh, repeat. This is Dave Knetter from Knetter's Practical Outdoors. Hey, thanks for watching, and God bless.